You know, one of the hottest Australian teams going to the Olympics this year, the cycling men's pursuit team, they are really on song. And Tim Sheridan had exclusive access to them through the week. Let's take a look. The Brits christened them the boy band, and it might stick. But our men's pursuit quartet have another name for themselves. Me and Michael Hepburn like to call it the express train. When we're having good days together and, um, and we're all on song, um, you know, we always have a joke together that the express train's back. Um, we like to think that the express train left uh, in Copenhagen when we won a few years back and we like to think it's not going to stop to after the games in London. That's a little joke we have amongst the boys. Yep, no stops. No stops. For this train, <laughs> yeah. And no passengers. And no brakes either. That's a wonderful time at a track like this. Since they won their second straight world title last year, Alex Edmondson has joined the train. But Thomas the Tank Engine is probably more relevant. He debuted at 17 and only tried track cycling because his older sister Annette was involved. Now they're both off to London. When I was eight, I was watching the TV, watching the Olympics, and um, to see that, and now we're both there, it's just unbelievable. I think mum and dad are probably maybe even more excited than we are, to be honest, but uh, it, no, it's been awesome and just, yeah, I have such a lovely family to be able to support us and push us, so it's, it's awesome. They are scarily young, with an average age of 20. I think the sport's slightly changing um, these days, and there are a lot of young guys coming up and, and shocking some of the older guys, and hopefully we can uh, keep that going. Jack Bobridge was held back by a father who won a national championship and a grandfather who won for his state. They let him loose on the track at 16, and three years later, he rode for Australia at Beijing, missing the bronze. I remember the, the workload I did and, and how hard it was, and then to run fourth was, was quite upsetting and was pretty hard, so um, yeah, to, it definitely gets me out of bed in the morning to, to not have that feeling feeling again. Okay. The margin in Beijing was a second, and finding that, and maybe more, has united the Australian Institute of Sport with the best aerospace minds at Monash University's engineering department. Here, the boy band is playing into a 65 kilometre an hour headwind. When the athletes ride on the track, we're able to evaluate them with quite a sophisticated um, level of, of, of accuracy to see whether the, the drag is high or low. Um, but you always are second guessing yourself, you're not sure why, you're not sure why um, something's slow or something's fast. In here, you can slow everything down and you can focus in on just rider two or just rider three. You can look at really specific details. All four in a wind tunnel is a world first. It took all day with dozens of efforts and secret adjustments to gear and positions. Massive amounts of information will influence future design, but the untrained eye really needs the old wind tunnel trick. What we see in the smoke is insight to how the air is, is being manipulated. And so then you get all these really fun questions, don't you? Well, what if we change the leading edge, the first rider? What will that do to how the wind moves over the second, third, and fourth? And once we've maximized what the first rider does, what do we do to second and third and fourth to, to keep the airflow nice and smooth? Jack Bobridge leads off the team. He's bike geared to a point few can handle. How awesome is Jack? Oh, he's, it's just unbelievable to see him, yeah, be able to watch him and now learning off of him. He's been, he's been um, the one guy I've really looked up to ever since I remember I've um, been young. I used to see Jack ride around and I was just like, well, I want to be like him one day. Bob Ridge is almost unique in track pursuit where the slightest hitch can mean a rider is dropped. He has to warn his teammates. One thing I never have ever done is um, called, called three in a team to shoot my whole career. And, um, you know, that's something I stand by and, and, and never want to have to do. Um, you know, coming out of the juniors, I never did. And also through the seniors, Dad's always told me, uh, before you call three, you should have to pass out and fall off before you, before you lose the wheel. In Melbourne in April, they lost their world champions rainbow jersey to the Brits. It hurt, but it might just be the loss they had to have. Can you win the gold in London? 
I believe we have the depth and the, or we have the sports science and mechanics and coaches to, to win for sure. Um, you know, it's still, it's so close, it's still so far away, we've still got so much work to do. Um, but I believe we're on the right track and um, there's only one, one thing we're looking at and that's, and that's for gold. It certainly is and best of luck to our cycling team.